Hi, baby. Hello. And hi, everyone. Hello, everybody. I am Jando Pavogi. And I'm Lillian. Uh, welcome to our new page. I mean, we just changed the name to Love and Family recently. And on this page, we'll be talking about love, about family. And if you are interested about that topics or those topics, you know what to do. Please subscribe to our channel, subscribe to our page, like this video, and share it to your friends. How are you today? Tired. <laughs> no choice. Today's topic is <coughs> what attitude to adopt when you discover your partner's infidelity. Um, honestly, me personally, <laughs> this is a, a hard topic to talk about, but nobody, no female or no woman is wishing to, to actually uh, go through things like that because yeah. being with somebody for like so many years, you know, where you share everything with the person, love, good memories and all that. And there's a trust, you guys trust each other, there's a kids involved. And then just you just wake up with uh, stuff like that, like you just wake up and find out that, you know, your husband, I'm just gonna go straight up, your husband or maybe your boyfriend is, you know, having an affair with somebody else outside. That is unacceptable. Now, what's the attitude will you adopt? So let's say you just discover that your <laughs> husband is okay. If I discover them, I discover find out that my husband is having an affair out there. Yeah. Personally, I will not fight him, but deeply inside, I will be very angry. I will be very upset because I'll be asking myself so many questions, like, okay, what did I do wrong? What did, what, you know, I will ask myself so many questions because as of now, I know I'm, I'm loyal to my husband. I do everything. I never reject him for anything. You know, I don't, I don't reject him when he come to me in bed or stuff like that. So I will not understand why he went behind my back and do such a thing. So when I find out that my husband is having an affair in my back, Honestly, I will not fight him. That's my one thing. I will not fight. But himself in the house, he will know what he did to me. How will he know if you say you don't okay. fight him? So what will yes. you do? When you come, I will talk to you. I will greet you like I, like I usually do. I will greet my husband. We talk to him. But I'm not going to sleep with him in the same bed. I can't wow. sleep with him in a room. Maybe I can lay down on the floor. Wow. There's no need to go in the children's room because they may find out that something is wrong. Wow. Or, or maybe if I come in the living room by myself in the middle of the night and the kids come and see. You know, I, I will try to protect it, protect the kids. Yeah. Don't, you know, don't involve them. I won't involve my kids into it. But myself, I will fight and my husband himself will know what he did was wrong. And maybe he will try to correct him. And that will also take a trust away. Yeah, I think I'm going to say something and come back to you. Because what you're saying is different. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're saying two different things. You say you won't fight him. But what you just explained is, is completely describing a fight. <laughs> because if you, if you don't sleep in the same bed with me, then that's fighting me. That's another type of fight. So basically it's fighting. So but for me I think if I discover my that my partner is infidel to me, to be honest, I won't fight too. And I will keep doing everything I was doing. But I will rather discuss to discuss with her. I will ask her why she did it and probably I may get an answer or not but I will first of all ask why she did it and sometimes the reason can be motivated by you you know sometimes we do something wrong and we don't necessarily know that we did something wrong that can affect our partner and put put her in in that position 
because naturally both women and men are loyal most of the time it's caused by something you know as they say that there is no smoke without fire so we first try to know what happened watch watch why she did it and with whom she did it and if she really explained to me and if i find that the reason i mean there is no reason that can justify that if you are married exactly legally there is no reason exactly. to justify it but sometimes some attitude may provoke woman or man cheat it can be because i'm not sleeping with you it can be because i'm not satisfying you it can be whatever whatever but i will try to discuss with you and if the reason seems to be a good reason and i will try if i am the reason why you did it i will try to correct what i did wrong and maybe if i cannot then i will find another solution but i think first of all i will try to discuss with her i won't beat you because that will that will definitely not solve the situation or complain to people i don't like complaining by default so mm -hmm. i will just talk to you and find out why you did it but coming back to you you said you won't fight and you said you will fight so because if you don't sleep with me you're fighting me no I if you don't sleep in the same bed with me maybe just say that you won't beat me and you, you can't even beat your husband no we can sleep in the same room but i will not lay down next to you then that's fighting no that's not fighting of course maybe, yeah that's fighting in another way but that is for you to know what you did was wrong then if i recognize that what i did was wrong what's the next step Be will you keep no. will you keep sleeping on the floor forever yeah until i forgive you i until i forgive you yes and i'll just say that way what do you think a man can do for you to forgive him about his infidelity what do you think he should do to make you come down and come back to bed with him <laughs> i mean uh speak out i will speak out yes and <laughs> Please feel free to drop a comment and tell me what you will do. Like I said, right? No women wish this. No, no women want this. And no men too. Exactly. Okay. So if you don't want it, what would you do it if no men want it? Because <laughs> all the time it's men that start stuff like this. They're always the first. Yes. But no women, I'm speaking as a woman. No women want this. No women want to go through this. But if it happened, all, you, all I can do, I'll just deal with it. I know at first, at first it's gonna hurt me. It's gonna be hard for me to let it go out of my mind, my heart, and all that. But yes, who am I not to forgive somebody? You know? Yeah. I will my, forgive. My question is, mm -hmm. what do you think the man can do for you to forgive him? Well, that is depend on his character. You know, you can try your whole best to make the person. Like yeah, but you as, by... as a woman, what do you think can be my best for you to forgive me? Because, okay, stuff like this, right? Mm. I think if your husband, if you, like, you start cheating on me mm -hmm. and your whole attitude, attitude change, then I find out that, oh, something is wrong. Maybe you're going to have to come back on the old attitude that you were doing when you weren't cheating. Then I will know that, okay, he changed. Because in order for me to forgive you, I have to see a change yeah if i see that you change then i'll be like okay he come back to his normal senses or he come back to himself then i can forgive you and forget it out no you cannot forget but you can forgive and everything will be like it was before yeah everything can go back like it was before but okay. it will be a little bit of it will be a lack of trust a little bit Indeed. But what of if instead, like you come to the floor now, instead of he him changing, he goes worse and worse. Because oh. when you refuse, like let's say you refuse to have sex with him, mm -hmm. and as a man he want to have sex, and what if he goes out again and again and again? So what's oh, that means that means he wants to do it. Is like you know he want to go. He really want to cheat on me. Yes. And what's gonna be your final action if you find out that 
you keep doing it yeah if the person keep doing it i don't want to mention this word but i have to i don't believe in divorce i don't want to get divorced but if my husband is doing that consistently i'm gonna have to take it to the family so we can sit and talk about or take it to my pastors or ministers but i will need some something i gotta do this i have to do something before maybe moving forward or taking on other you know steps but you won't try to talk to him directly because i will try of course i will try to talk in, to him directly because but if he's not yeah you didn't mention that here that okay that i will talk to you him. you discover that your husband is teaching on you i think the first thing is first to call him ask him discuss with him find out what was the reason that motivated him I say it again, no reason can justify Exactly, infidelity. so that's why. But I think it's worth speaking about it because they say that communication solves many problems. So yes. why don't you want to talk to him directly and decide to come to the floor? Yes, I know you know yourself that I like, I love to communicate, I like talking. But sometimes when I don't talk about stuff, means it's really killing me inside. So... I don't really, you know, want to... I know there's a... You have to actually talk, yes. So it, I can find out, like, what push him into that. I have to ask, yes. But when, I, when he keep doing it, I will ask, of course. Like, what's going on? What's the problem? What is the issue? Yes, I will ask him. Okay, my last question before him. I say something. Mm -hmm. Like, how will you ask him if he's sleeping on the floor? What time? Where? And how? How will you ask him? Yeah, he, sometimes he come home during the daytime when I'm here and when he come at night before bedtime, I will talk to him. I will, you know, try to have a conversation with you before you go to bed. And after the conversation, you come back to the floor again to sleep? Yeah, because I'm not happy, so I'll go back to the floor and sleep, of course. Yeah, I think, yes. Or maybe I, I will stay on my bed, but I don't want you to touch me. Yeah, I can say you're wrong because definitely this is a conversation and everybody is free to say what they think. But I think personally that first discussing with you may result to something positive and not touching you, for me, we just aggravate the situation. In, in, in one end, but in on the, another end too, if the person is conscient and regret, I think that can make them change too, because if she really loves you, that can make him for, uh, ask for forgiveness. It's very hard, for, especially for men. I know, I, <laughs> I know a lot of men will say that direct divorce or what. what and i will kick her out but i'm i don't think that's the solution especially if there is already kids involved mm -hmm. uh, divorce for me is not a solution at I mean, all at all but it's hard let's i will say let's discuss first and if i find out that i was the one who Who was the reason why you did it? I would try to to change to solve the situation because sometimes I, I I realize that most of the time is that when one partner starts and they don't solve the problems, that makes the other one to start doing it. Mm -hmm. And it's better when the first one starts to really communicate about it. Yeah, communication is the key in everything. You have to communicate, especially as a couple. Yes. But sometimes, when you're really upset, it's like that moment, you don't feel like talking about it. Like, you want to take a little bit of time. You want to you see, you want to give your partner some time for himself to realize exactly what he did wrong. Or maybe he may come to you and say, hey, I know you don't want to talk to me because of this and that. Sometimes, you know, it's not like when you, I keep silent, it's not like I don't want to talk, but it's just that particular moment or that particular time. I don't want to talk about it because I don't want to think about it or something like that. But definitely I will have to speak. I have to speak up, talk to you so I can know exactly why you did this, what's going on. 
Okay. Yeah. Nice. So, I already know what you will do, and I think <laughs> I also see. That doesn't mean you have to go and do it. <laughs> no, that was my question. So, what is your advice to men or to women that come to encounter this situation? I mean, because it's good to cure, but it's better to prevent, of course. as we always yeah. say. So, mm -hmm. what advice can you tell any woman out there? Or uh, any men, because you're a woman. I know this affects you or women in general. So what advice can you give to any man? Any man or any woman? Yeah, anybody. Both, okay. All right, now I'm back to you. <laughs> so as a woman, the advice that I will give to another woman, another man in a situation like this, like uh, you find out that your partner is cheating on you or is having a, an affair, Especially women, I know a lot of, no, like I said before, no women want this. But when it happens or when you find out, take it easy. Don't let everybody find out here. Yeah, because it's something that can be short term, you know. Maybe the person, your husband just did it because maybe you did something wrong to him. He didn't want to, I don't know. But it's not like as soon as it happens and you go and spread the news out there, you know. Other people may look at your husband any type of way. I don't know if you wonder, you don't wonder. But as a woman, when stuff like this happened, just take it easy. At first, if you know your if you know your temper is really high, pray first, pray, and ask God to give you a good <laughs> temper so you can just stay calm because you don't want to do nothing crazy or stupid. You don't want to say nothing bad to because even in communication, you can say something to your friend or to your partner. That he, that he can never forget, you know? Yeah. So, that's what I just say. Pray first. Maybe God, pray so God can give you knowledge, you know, of what you're going to do. Because at the end of the day, you don't, you don't just want to get up and say, I want to divorce because he did that. I know some people will like, I don't want to know what's going on. I don't want to know why you did it. All I want is divorce. Because everybody thinks different way, you know? So, the advice that I would give to a woman or a man over there, out there, when you find out the stuff like this, just... Take it easy, pray, God will give you knowledge. And if you don't want to talk about it at the moment, don't talk about it. But don't run away from your room, you know, because go into the kid's bedroom, the kids will know something is wrong because you've yeah. never done that. Yeah. So if you go there, for, they see that for a week, mommy sleeping with us, they will know something is wrong. When yeah. the daddy comes, they see that nobody laughing, nobody smiling, they may, you know, the kids will send something, so I don't know. If you want that for your kids out there, so that's the advice I can give. You know, you take it easy and try to talk to the person. That that means do what I preach, don't do what I do. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <Technically. Because laughs> no, like I said, I, of course I will pray myself mm -hmm. so God can give me knowledge. But I will not fight. I I even mentioned that I will not go and sleep in the kids' room. I will still stay in my room in my same, in the same room with my husband. Okay. But I will not sleep on the bed with you for that moment. And I think that's that's true about praying. But at that moment, most of the time, that's the least thing that comes to your mind. But I believe that's the right attitude. That's the best thing to do to really talk to God and see yeah. if because only He can change become. every situation. The Bible said that the heart of man is like. Uh, water in his hand he can change the direction anytime so praying can definitely calm you down and definitely find solve the situation yeah. and I think my advice to any man is to not do it at, the, at, at, at first, at right? first yeah, you know, start to not do it. especially if you live in the same house with your wife mm. I don't really see the point yeah. honestly because what do you gain I mean I don't want to say unless, but I mean, unless she really don't want to, don't want to do it with you no. for, for days, for weeks, for months, but even that, you still have to talk to her Communicate first, yeah. first and find out why. And if it is something that you can bear, because let's say your wife give birth for like one, two, three, a couple months, you won't have any relation with her. So sometimes you can be patient because no matter the amount of time is gonna expire, 
and you can still come back to her so the first thing is not to do it i think and to stay loyal to stay faithful but if it come to happen just communicate with her and forgive because let's say you divorce with her and you get another one and she also do the same thing what's going to happen the same thing yeah because if you keep doing the same thing you're gonna get the same result mm. so that's why i think you should first put your ego aside and try to work on yourself maybe you are doing something that is making her do the but i think you should forgive and you should move on and put every ingredient in place so that that won't happen again and if she keep doing it bro kick her out that's it yeah of course because i can't grow some someone kids in my house no def <laughs> definitely not no if i find out i talk to you and i try to change and you keep doing it and it became a habit for you i think i won't stay with you maybe for a couple months oh oh that's not divorce that's a maybe separation first right? yeah a couple okay. couple days couple months but if even in that separation because if you are with me and you are doing it <laughs> why <laughs> When you're not with me, what well, mean you're not going to do it? It's going to be worse. Because now you have the, the total freedom. Yeah. It's very, it's very tricky. It's very complicated. But yeah, just take it easy. And work on yourself. Do what's right. Do what's always right. And God willing, everything will be okay. Yeah, I think, I don't know how long is the video, but... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I don't know if a, you have anything to say about this yeah, subject. Yeah, because everybody have their up. own, everybody have their own experience, or their own mind and or thought about you know this topic. Some people may talk about it for one hour or for two hours, but yeah. you know, yeah, that's that was just a you know, okay, my experience, my thought about the topic. Thank you so much. So we are coming to the end of this conversation. This may be the first episode of a long series of video. Yes. Because my wife and I decided to, to be talking about love, about family. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have a lot of topic coming. But before we just close this, I want us to, to pray for couples who are going through this kind of situation. Even those who are not going to this kind of situation that God should help them stay firm, stay focused, and stay loyal and faithful to their partner. Mm. So let's pray. Okay. Lord, Father, we thank you for this opportunity we had to discuss about this topic, about faithfulness. Because the first virtue of a man or a woman is to be loyal, to be faithful, to be faithful to his partner. Father, I pray that any people oh lord who are here in this video who are listening or who are watching this video who are going through such situation lord solve the problem by yourself in jesus mighty name Amen. there is nobody who can solve it only you because it is not really something that anyone desire to do but it just come sometimes naturally sometimes by the fruit of sin, sometimes by the devil, sometimes by any attitude. But Father, I pray that anybody who is going through this situation, heal them, come, and make their heart come down, Lord. And prevent anyone, oh Lord, from doing it in Jesus' mighty name. Mm -hmm. I recently watched a movie with you, War Room, which was a great movie, and a man was having a an affair with another woman but anytime she wanna go with the woman something just happen i pray that anybody all who wanna betray or wanna be unfaithful to their partner just make something happen so that they can do it and they will go back to their partner for peace to reign in every family because every sound family is every sound society a good society comes from a good family. We pray that, oh Lord, you give love to our family first, to every family around, oh Lord, who are listening to my voice and who are not even listening, oh Lord. Help each and every one be faithful to each and to their partners in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Father Lord, 
May what we started continue. Give us the strength, the courage to keep doing videos in Jesus' name. I Amen. pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you for watching. You, you know what to do, right? Yes. What to do? Like the video, share and comment, and tell us below what do you like, what do you like. <laughs> yes. If it was you, what will you do? Yes. And please share your idea, your thought with us in the comment. Subscribe to our channel yes. for you to be notified for <laughs> coming events. Thank you. Thank you. And see you again. Have a blessed day.